Thank you so much, Governor, and good afternoon, everyone. Uh, during each press briefing, I provide an update on the number of people who have contracted COVID-19 newly, those who've been hospitalized, those who are in the ICU, those who are on ventilators, and most painfully, those who have passed on. I'm concerned that we've grown numb to these numbers, and we need to remember that they're not just numbers. These are people. These are loved ones who were so sick that they were hospitalized in the intensive care unit and unfortunately succumbed. In March, when we started seeing evidence of just how deadly this disease could be, we did what we had to do. We stayed home, and when we couldn't stay home, we took the necessary precautions. We wore face coverings, we kept our distance, we kept washing our hands. We're now in August and people are, are tired. They're tired of staying home, they're tired of wearing face coverings. But again, as I've said, the virus is not tired. This virus didn't change. Its tactics are the same and its practices are the same. But we can't change ours. We have changed our activity, and yes, we had to get back to doing some things. We couldn't stay in the house until the virus or the vaccine came, until the cure or the vaccine came. But what we do need to do is approach our activities in a way that it can be safer for us. And that will make the difference between being in a high-risk situation and a low-risk situation, between being in school in a classroom or school on Zoom, and potentially life or death. Some people seem no longer worried about the severity of the disease and are willing to sacrifice not only their health, but the health of others around them or even people they don't know. Please, let's think of everyone and let's think of the people that we can save. Today, we are reporting almost 2,295 new mothers, fathers, daughters, sons who were newly diagnosed with COVID-19 and regrettably 25 additional lives lost to COVID-19. This brings the total number of individuals in Illinois to 211,889 and 7,806 individuals who will not be at Thanksgiving dinner this year. 1,519 people in Illinois were reported to be in the hospital as of midnight with 334 patients in the ICU and 144 patients on ventilators. In the last 24 hours, more than 50,000 lab results, our highest total ever, have been reported for a total of over three, nearly three and a half million tests that have been performed since the beginning of this uh, COVID pandemic. I've heard people say that the numbers aren't that bad, they're only increasing a little, we're better than other states, we don't really need to be that strict. The truth is we are better than, than most states, but that's true today. But we are going in the wrong direction. The country as a whole, for four weeks in a row, the positivity rate has declined. For four weeks in a row for Illinois, the positivity rate has increased. This is precisely the time that we have to act. We want to prevent from getting into a very bad spot. We want to be proactive and not be chasing our tail as it spirals out of control. Prevention is always the best plan, but we know that there will be infections despite our best efforts. So what else can we do? I'm often asked that. I'll tell you like I would tell my adult patients if I were still at the Austin Health Center or the or Stroger Hospital or the Cottage Grove Clinic. I'll say, be your healthiest you. So if exercise and eating right is not getting your blood pressure to go, take the blood pressure medicines that were assigned to you. Check your sugars like you're supposed to if you're diabetic and do what you need to do to get your sugars down. Walking can absolutely be a safe activity, even in these COVID times. Walk for your blood pressure, walk for your diabetes, walk for your anxiety, walk for your depression. It's good for all of that. Take care of you so that if COVID strikes, and I pray that it doesn't strike you, your, your best you will be there to fight. And to my pediatric patients, I tell them, and I tell their families, please schedule your health maintenance visits. Get all your shots up to date. And to every single body, I say, plan to get your flu shot as early as possible. 
We have not seen what flu and COVID illness looks like together, and I'm sure we don't want to. Please get your flu shot as soon as it's available. Continue the three W's, wear your face covering, watch your distance, wash your hands. The sooner the better and we can all get back to some semblance of normalcy. We are all in Illinois. Durante cada conferencia,